swap any object in your video with your subject in one simple comfy ui workflow faces stay stable motion looks natural and everything looks real today we are comparing fp8 and q5 ggof fixing small mistakes in the result and upscaling the final video i'll show everything inside one simple comfy ui workflow so first let's talk about the workflow i have uploaded a video and an older man is sitting and reading a newspaper smiling and looking at the alien they are sitting in the park now i upload image of a random woman and here my goal is to remove the alien from the video and replace it with this woman i chose this image because it's a square image and the video is vertical so here resolution monster always gives the best size for what you set my video is vertical so i switch the image to vertical and remove the background now the background is gone and you can see a woman in a white dress smiling back to the video i set the resolution to a supported vertical size now the main part masking with points i add green points on the alien the thing i want to keep in the mask at first and red points on the areas i don't want in the mask if the mask grabs the older man by mistake i put red points on the older man to exclude him so only the alien is selected for sampling i am using a three sampler chain the first pass no lora adds light noise and sets the bass the second pass uses lora with three steps and the third pass also uses lora with two to three steps this gives clean motion and keeps details stable so when i run it everything is masked if the mask catches the background in a corner i add one more red point there to clean it next i load my prompt and hit run and here you can see the results is strong the alien is replaced by the lady and the motion matches the reference the older man still smiles and eats his burger the scene timing stays the same the face stays the same through the image now the best part is how natural it looks and no one can tell we replaced anything if you show it to someone they won't notice the swap so here in my test one leg had a sandal and the other had a shoe you can fix that by changing in the prompt and run it again that's it the problem is fixed this workflow removes the alien and replaces it with the lady cleanly with natural motion and a seamless look so i have simplified this workflow and it's easy to use i have divided it into sections each section has its own job in the video section just upload your video in resolution master pick a supported preset and for this demo i picked 832 by 480 that's horizontal but my video is vertical so when i click swap it becomes 480 by 832 This size is good for low fee and cheap use. In the image section, upload the image you want to place in the video. In Resolution Master, select the same resolution you chose for the video. Use Image Background Remover to remove the background of your image. Now, go to Image Masking. The object you want should be marked with green points. Anything you don't want in the mask should get red points if i don't add red points the mask may also grab the old man so i add red points on the old man to exclude him i only want to change the alien so first disable everything else and check the mask only 
If the mask looks correct, then enable the rest and continue. Now move to load model. There are two loaders here, one for high noise and one for low noise. You can select your WAN 2.2 T2V model here. Any one of these FP8, FP16 or GGUF. And if you use GGUF, make sure quantization is disabled. For this test, I am using a GGUF build that works well on a low VRAM system. The earlier example was generated with WAN 2.2 FP8. Now I'll try this with GGUF and compare the results. So there is another node name called Waste Model Select. Here you choose the Waste Model files, one high noise and one low noise. Download them and save them in your Diffusion Model folder. If you use GGUF, download the GGUF model file and select it here. Now the LoRa section. I use LightX. LightX LoRa, the one we used before with WAN 2.2. I also added an HPS V2 LoRa. HPS V2 uses human picked preferences to improve quality. Download the HPS model and save it in your models folder and then load it here. That's the model part. In the text encoder, write your positive prompt. In the text encoder node, select the text encoder file. Now, sampling. I use three samplers instead of one. The first sampler makes a quick noisy bass in one step without LoRa. The other two samplers refine details. If you are very low on VRAM, you can bypass the first sampler. I also turn on color matching so the inserted subject matches the video colors. If it looks off, set the strength to zero. I added an I added an upscale group too because people asked for it. Inside that group, select the upscaler model, run it and you'll get a sharper result. So that's it for this workflow. Now, I am testing the GGUF model. The earlier result was generated with FP8 WAN 2.2 T2V. And for this test, I switched to Q5 GGUF. Everything else stays the same. Same mass, same resolution. So when you choose GGUF, make sure keep quantization disabled. As I, I mentioned earlier. The first sampler finishes in about 31 seconds and uses roughly 23 to 24 GB of VRAM. The, the next three step pass takes about 38 seconds and uses around 12 to 13 GB. If Torch Compile is installed and working, VRAM on the next runs drops by 50%. The last three step pass takes about 51 seconds. Total time for the clip is roughly about 1 minute 32 seconds. If your GPU has very low VRAM, bypass the first sampler to save memory. The Q5 result looks very good. Everything is clean. Only a small run reflection on the face, which is quite normal. If you want to see it sharper, enable the upscale group and run it. For 97 frames, the upscale took about 48 minutes on my side. The overall upscale is strong, but the lady's eyes and face don't look as good as the rest. This is because the eyes weren't very clear in the source, so the upscaler didn't add the right detail there. Everything else upscales nicely. So let's talk about another example. I have uploaded a video of a lady walking on the street. In the image section, I upload a different lady who has a t-shirt with a design. I am using a Q5 GGF model here 
and my goal is to replace the lady in the video with the lady from my image and keep the same t-shirt design. So first I mask the video subject, I disable the other groups and click run and use the masking panel. I put green circles on the lady which I want to keep and the red circles on the areas to remove. I test the mask and it looks good. Then I enable the model groups and leave upscale off for now and run it. Here you can see the result looks clean but the t-shirt design is not exactly the same as per my image. The word excuse me isn't spelled exactly right and the graphic is a bit changed also. I also tested another model earlier and that one gave a perfect design match. So now I change the prompt a little and run Q5 model again. I add that lady is wearing shoes and I remove a backside cape that I didn't want. After this, excuse me is visible and the shoes are correct. The design is about 98% the same, only graphic little bit changed. You can say it's just not 100%. That's okay, but you can reach 100% by changing the prompt a bit and trying two or three more times. So that's it. With this setup, you can replace anything in this video while keeping motion natural. If a detail is off, make a small prompt change and rerun just that part. So that's it for today's video. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.